I called it, I called it. The Garmin 5CV definitely does the job. It told me what happened and uh, it happened. All right guys, I am seeing some action here. And as you can see, I'm trolling at uh, 1.44 miles per hour and uh, at a hundred foot depth. So I have a, a rig up top and a rig at the bottom. So let's hope by the time that all that mess comes over here, I should be right on top of them with nice uh, 70 foot setback. All right, so that's good school. So I marked them right there. All right, let's go find our way back. And uh, as you can see, this has a waypoint feature. So basically that's where we are right now. And uh, the whole trail that we marked of schools are right between here and here so that's why it's a good idea to keep marking your spot so you can come back around right on top of that same school just passed by so I'm gonna make a u-turn here and uh, come down again stay tuned guys Good morning everyone, Brandon here with another fishing video. This time this is an unboxing of my Garmin Striker 5CV. I believe this is the Vivid unit. This is my brand new toy and it is replacing the ancient Hummingbird black and white 550 20 degree sonar. I'm basically going to be chucking this out. So guys, I finally feel comfortable about buying a new one <clears throat> with the reviews I've seen so far my best review and budget friendly is the Garmin Striker series mind you I was gonna get the Striker 4 but this one is a 5 inch screen and I figured that 4 inch screen would just bother me but like I said first look right here this is a color and it has um, waypoints GPS it has clear view it has, <clears throat> I believe it also has speed indicator, temperature. Why don't we have a look and check it out. Okay guys, first look at the box. Pretty solid box, nothing fancy, you know. Nice packaging. As you can see, it comes with a transducer as well. Quite excited guys. Anyways, why don't we go open it up, hey? It's always exciting when you're opening up something new and you're uh, in this fishing industry or fishing hobby. Anyways, nice fancy box. Let's see if we can give you guys a look at what we have here. Okay, so first off the bat, we have the Garmin. Quite exciting, guys. Quite exciting. So there you go. So nice five inch screen bunch of buttons on the side I don't know if you can see this there you go that's a nice angle right there so I'm gonna be trying this out I heard a lot of good reviews about the Garmin 4 striker 4 but this is the 5 so let's have a look so what does it come with 
let me show you what it comes with. <clears throat> so, looks like it comes with a transducer. Let's take a look what it looks like. I know you fellow fishermen must be excited whenever you open something new, right? Don't tell the wife I bought this. Alright, so quite different than the one I have. So this looks kind of like a small boat, kind of. Looks like a kind of a torpedo, sort of. And it comes with a nice long cord. So I'm not quite sure how long that is, but it looks plenty long for your running cable needs. Okay, there's the view on that, Garmin. Okay, what else does it come with? Let's take a look. Uh, it comes with a mounting, the mounting for the, the Garmin screen. And it looks like it has a swiveling point as well and kind of an anchoring point this way for a pivot. Okay, interesting. And it has these slotted. Why don't I open it up? <coughs> so that's what it looks like right there. Looks like we have some sort of a easy click out removal on these guys. So this, that makes sense. So you don't have to take off the screw, I guess. You can just loosen it and it'll slip right out. View the bottom. Let me see this. There you go. Okay, now what else does it come with? It comes with a power cable. A power cable, and this is power, this power cable is for the unit itself, the mo uh, monitoring unit itself. And it comes with this three amp fuse. And this will be the negative. And I believe these two wires, I did some research, this is for the eco mapping. So this is. Um, a way for you to upload your information that you uh, have uh, saved in your fish finder. So that's what it is. No, not too much cable there, but uh, looks like it'll reach for my job. <clears throat> okay, what does it come with? This looks like a mounting hardware. This looks like mounting hardware for the trolling motor. So you don't have to Mount this on your boat, guys, if you're worried about puncturing your boat or whatnot. You can try this attached to your trolling motor. It has the hose clamp and it has some sort of mounting hard, but mounting uh, plastic mount over there. Okay, what does it come with? It comes with, oh, I believe this is the mounting for the actual boat. If you wanted to mount it on your, on your hull, this will be it. Right there. It doesn't, it's not a very good idea to have a white, the black shirt in here. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look. And some screws, looks like. And so this is the mounting. I believe this is the swivel that comes with the unit itself. So there you go. So that, I guess that's what goes over there. So I guess this mounts first, this mounts next, or it looks like you can mount it hard as well. So no pivot. Sorry, no oscillation, but you can pivot this way still. So that's there. And this looks like thumb bolts that go on the side of the actual monitor. Right here. Looks like a couple of those and a couple of wooden screws that you can mount. It also has a looks like a nut and bolt in case you wanna. Well, I believe that mounts onto the swivel plate as well. Okay, looks like what is this one now? It looks like we have another thing here. Uh, I haven't fully read the manual yet, but looks this one looks interesting. Probably another mount. For the transducer, I'm not quite sure, guys. Oh, I believe that this is the cable route. So when you mount your transducer, this is how you mount your cable. I saw a couple videos on how to make uh, how to make this work. So I guess that's how you run your cable through this, and it holds it up for you. 
All right, so let's put that back. And what else does it come with? So let's put that back in the bag. It comes with straps, cable straps. So it comes with these two hole cable straps right there. And it has, what else does it have? Oh, it has a little cap to prevent water from getting in, I suppose. For This is for when you enter uh, your boat. So that's what you put when you run your uh, cable. Okay, what else did it come with? It comes with an awesome Garmin sticker. So this is going to be going on the boat. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. All right, uh, what else we got? Oh, that's right, we have the manual there you go so i believe it has a template as well for how you mount your boat some directions i did look at it briefly but uh like i said i'm gonna have to take it step by step hopefully you guys come come along for the ride i'm gonna try and shoot this and hopefully make a big compilation of all the stuff from the beginning the unboxing the turning it on the mounting and live on the water and hopefully get some fish on videos for you guys so, more stenciling, probably some warranty paperwork, but that is all for now. Like I said guys, I'm super excited to try this out. I believe there's even a feature on this for ice fishing, but I didn't get the ice fishing bundle. So, I'm going to give this guy a shot, give this guy a try. Oh, here you go, another clip on the back. So, I believe one is for power right here, and this is for the transducer. Looks like a pretty solid piece just from first hand look. It looks pretty sleek, guys. I like it. Mind you, I had this hawker. So there's a comparison of the size. So this is my old unit. Might as well trash it. This is my new baby. But anyways, so there it is, guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you do like what you see, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to comment. Let's talk about what you guys have. Maybe you guys have this feature. Maybe it's your favorite. Maybe it's not. Let me know what you like about it and what you don't. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. I'm going to check you guys out on the next clip of me trying to mount this thing. Hopefully, it's not too complicated. But for now, see you guys on the next video.